Hey guys, welcome back to the Zane Investing. We will examine AMC Entertainment. Give us additional AMC and Ape. In today's video, we will cover the conditions under which it is fair to bet on a significant price increase for AMC. In this video, we will examine how there are two trading days left and how we may witness tremendous, massive price activity if we sit down now as well as if we purchase AMC and many other investments. Ensure that you watch till the very end. As usual, we will begin by examining the chart for AMC. Today, we are therefore up 1.5%, and exactly as we discussed, we surpassed the 518. We anticipated the momentum. Nevertheless, I did state that consolidation will occur. I did not anticipate obtaining that in a single day you can see that you reached the bottom of the 505 zone and that we also surpassed you at 547. Hence, we are already oscillating between these two zones as we discussed on Friday. Tomorrow is a very, very important day because of course, we need to see how it closes. If we are able to close within the zone, which we discussed in the Sunday Outlook, that will be extremely bullish. If we are able to close even above the zone, or coming in above the 556, that would be the best case scenario. The greater the height, the better. Yet if they can close the gap between the zone of 547 and this 518, they will still be successful. Nevertheless, if we do break below it, we'll have another week of trying to break out of a new resistance level. All of this, however, was discussed in the Sunday video, so everyone should have been prepared. Taking a look at EIGRP, However, we see that it is down 1.22%. So we discussed the fact that, yeah, we did surpass the 244 mark. As I previously stated, a breakout of the resistance is typically extremely favorable. The price movement of the last few days indicates, however, that there is a great deal of resistance in this region. We observe merchants attempting to drive the price down and maintain a low price. Thus, what we want to see on Friday is a break above 244 and a closing above 244. I believe it is essential now, especially given how the price action indicates that the Friday for A is fairly determinative of what will occur the following week. If we close below, the price is expected to decline and meet with more sellers the following week. But if we close above it, there will certainly be additional buyers entering the following week. Thus, this is once again of the utmost importance. Now take a look, since I'm certain this is what internet users are talking about. He discusses AMC's placement on a new comprehensive list, its 500% plus daily show fee, and its position at the bottom of the wedge. I assert that I can safely wager on a massive spike or other constant conditions. Certainly, history repeats itself. After a multiple bottom and a more stable buy, we may enter the market then please leave a comment below. Do you agree and leave your comments below? If it spikes, where is the AMC target? He has plainly ridiculed it at its all-time high, which again for AMC now after the price adjustment is coming in at this price of $44 and $0.61 and to demonstrate to everyone the exorbitant price. Even yet, it makes reasonable that this is where the price would head. Comment below, gentlemen. What do you mean the cost would reach that level? And you know, we have a lot of data, the majority of which is on the new complete list, which we'll examine later for a 500% plus daily price. Moreover, you are aware that we have also been discussing this. If we take a look at the charge cost right now, we see that the average is 500% and the maximum is 830.66%. This is the scenario with 8 right now. And for your information, the technical analysis adds up. Obviously, we have the falling wedge and the breakout. We have the fundamentals, such as being on the fresh full list and charging a daily short cost of 500% or more. All of these factors are currently adding up to a massive, massive increase for AMC, just as pieces for AMC or data from the past also appear to pile up for the future. We have observed this repeatedly for price breakouts, whether they occurred on the upside or the downside. Example when we examine a stop, but also when we examine when we knew AMC will break up certain zones and actually have a run, such as the cost of borrowing, incident, etc. In light of this, I see the current statistics to be extremely positive. The next topic we will discuss is, of course, the remaining two days. 
and we may also observe tremendous price movement. As you can see, here is the list of virtual security threats for the 16th of February. ANC still appears on the list. Thus, AMC appeared on a list on February 2nd. As can be seen, the first item was not included on the list. As of this moment, the count will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Of course, is DT plus 13. Hence, two days remain till we reach the 13-day mark. And again, that will be the time when they will have to cover all STDs, meaning they will have to purchase or at least attempt to purchase a mixture of the medications. They have always been observed pushing offshore. Even if it remains on the list indefinitely, it simply indicates that they are shorting a big number of shares and burning through their funds. I would want to stress, however, that the market is closed on Monday, February 20. Thus, that day would not be a trading day, and trading will resume on the 21st. I am certain I did count that. So I'd like to clarify that quickly. There would be no trade on the 20th. The market is currently closed, thus it will be the 21st, and I'd like to clarify that immediately. Yet, based on the AMC for T plus 13, we appear to be getting near. It is of the utmost importance to observe how and what occurs as we approach that date. Are they attempting to cover some serious off the list, or are they compelled to cover everything? Or are they attempting to employ the methods they have used in the past, such as offshore outsourcing? We simply do not know yet. Still, this would be a major deciding factor. And again, significant price movement might be entering them. Now, Citadel has subsequently filed a quarterly 13F and increased their key four holdings in AMC as of December 31, 2022. Hence, the conclusion of the year. Therefore, they have 11.5 million shares tagged as cause, which are represented by 150,000 options, and 8 million shares marked as put, which are represented by 80,000 options each share. Hence, purchasing 117,000 shares. Obviously, I'm simply looking at that. Presently, we are observing this from Citadel. And what I want to discuss first is that AMC is also bound to the location where they are. Notwithstanding the fact that they are displaying this on paper, I still believe it to be a bullish development. And I do believe it will consolidate between these levels before eventually breaking out. Now, if we are able to achieve the breakout immediately, it is extremely probable that the price will continue to rise, etc. Yet, the consolidation between these levels is more likely to occur prior to this breakthrough. Obviously, anything along these lines is more realistic, but this already meets the criteria. We already have the ability to jump between tiers. If we are able to close inside this region, it will depend entirely on where we will be closing tomorrow for Friday. So let me just mark it. If we are able to traverse and approach this marked area, it is still very, very fantastic news. If we are able to close above that area, it will be a tremendous success. But if we close below this region, it simply indicates that we will be confronted with more seller momentum next week. But, I believe it is highly probable that we are approaching this area. Nothing is yet fixed in stone. Therefore, we must adapt to the situation and observe its development. But this topic has been explored. Also, thank you for viewing the video. I hope you all enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time.